Well, time for a little progress video. Um, wires hanging out, car's jacked up, trunk is like almost completely empty now. I took my battery rack that I had in there out, the amp rack is out. Um, the battery rack was actually welded down, I took that out, used a grinder, got all that stuff out. Um, working on this big mess of wire right here. Running these up to the front, or from the back to the front, however you want to look at it. Um, just for an idea of what four four odd cables looks like coming through a firewall. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm planning on going fuseless in this car, um, so I'm being very, very careful how I'm installing all these wires. Um, the wire already has a really strong shield on it. Um, it's pretty strong. Most of the other wires that I've ever used have, when you're pulling them through the firewall or whatever and they grab a little chunk of metal, they'll rip and tear. This stuff's pretty tough. It just gets a little scratch on it and then usually rubs away with the finger. Um, but I wrapped the inside of the hole with fat mat and then I wrapped the wires with split loom, wrapped in tape, wrapped in more fat mat, which actually worked out pretty nice. Um, because the fat mat on the fat mat actually helped it slide through pretty nice so it wasn't so hard to get it through there um, but here's what I did with this I was wondering how I was going to run this all the way to the back with no issues so I have this um, basically an air duct that is factory and it runs through this brace here and is for uh, basically blowing air on the rear passenger's feet. Um, so basically I just, just a little hole in that. Cut a hole there for all the wires to go into. And then ran the factory wires, or not the factory wires, I ran the, the new wires through the factory air duct. Took this extension piece off. There's actually a piece that goes through there but I put the wiring through there instead. Um, I did cover it up with some more mat because this is a sharp edge here that could have potentially cut the wire. Um, so I covered that up again, wrapped it in the split loom, the three quarter inch split loom, three quarter inch inside opening split loom. Um, it's pretty big. And then I wrap that in tape again, Gorilla tape, about two or three layers. And then I wrap the fat mat around the outside of the tape. So it should have no issues. And I can get this situated where it goes. And this tape on here is basically holding the plastic together because I cut a hole here but then on the bottom side I used a blade and then I slit here on the opposite side all the way around so I could slide the wires in. Um, that's how that looks. Carpet's all tore up. Looking pretty messy. Unfortunately now I can still see out my back window so hopefully I'll be making that a blind spot again soon um, but here's where all the wires are looking they're gonna look something like this underneath the carpet going up back there next to the factory wiring um, that's gonna be tidied up of course when I figure out what I want to do with it I just want to give a quick update on how the wiring's going uh, I do have one uh, kinetic 16V that I'm going to be hooking up so I can run the 16 volt electrical. Um, it's basically how all that looks right now. I do got still got some wires hanging underneath the car. Uh, that's a 
terminal that I got crimped on to the cable that's coming out. I got two going up to the engine block that are going to be negatives and then two are going to be coming back from the alternator post for the positives. And if you're wondering how I'm crimping the terminals, I got this little guy right here. I do say little because it's not very little at all. It's a 26 inch handle crimper. Um, pretty nice. Put your piece in there and then just start ripping on it and crimps them pretty tight so I'm not too worried about them falling off. Um, but anyways, I'm going to wrap this up, get this up for you guys. Stay tuned and uh, keep watching the rest of this build. <laughs>